Hi guys, welcome to my podcast episode. Here is your host Tyreek and today we're going to talk about success. And you need to be able to get results in order to actually keep pushing yourself. And the way you get results is by being consistent every single day by growing what you started from small. Everything starts from scratch. Everything starts from a seed and idea and you are working on yourself every day, day by day. And you're always putting in effort, always putting in work, always watering your plants every single day until they grow into a garden. Because if you don't work hard bettering yourself, you won't see any results. And results counts as in wealth of money is going to be the measure of how well you're doing. So you need to make sure that you, if you want to do well, you have a lot of results to show. Because no one's going to believe in you until you have results. And if you don't do anything to get the results, then you're not going to be successful. And going through success, it takes time. But the more time that you take to actually better yourself every single day, the more successful you'll be in the future. And don't use fear as a way of giving yourself an out. You know, it's okay to ask for help, but it's not okay to ask for a handout. Like nobody's going to just give it to you. But you have to ask for help so that you can see you know, a way to get better at what you struggle with because we all have struggles. So you cannot blame yourself, but nobody else. You know, if you, anything is achievable, anything is obtainable, but you have to see it in your mind. Your paradigm has to switch. Your paradigm is, okay, it's your mindset. Like, you, you think you can do it. That's a par paradigm of positivity. You know, if you have a negative paradigm, then you have negative vibrations and you have those vibrations turn into actions and actions turn into reality. So whatever you vibrate on, your frequency is what you will see in your reality. So make sure that you are around people that actually give you the right vibration so that you can soak up the most knowledge. Because if you're around negative people, if there's five to ten people telling you you can't do this dream and you automatically believe them, then you're not going to be able to do that dream. But if you surround yourself with positive people every single day, you know, you get yourself in an environment that is in higher visions of you and higher standards of you, you're going to be forced to evolve because you're seeing yourself not as close to them and you are going to feel bad at a point because they are way higher than you would like to be. But there's no shame in just owning up to where you are Look yourself in the mirror and say, okay, I'm not where I want to be, but if I surround myself with people that are higher than me, that I look up to, then they can help me get to where they are because everybody starts from zero. You know, it's not nothing to be ashamed to starting from zero, but once you start from zero, that's all that matters. People don't even start because they're not aware of their surroundings. They're not aware of they can actually achieve what their dream is, but you can be aware of where you are currently in your life and if you like what you are doing and you like what you accomplished so far, good, congratulations. But if you don't like where you are right now, you need to reevaluate yourself. Look yourself in the mirror. Because if you don't look yourself in the mirror, you don't keep yourself accountable, you'll never chase your dreams. Like, you have to really be so obsessed with your dreams that you almost need somebody to tell you to take a break here on here and there because sometimes you're just working so hard because you know you want the taste of success so bad because once you get that taste of success it is like it's addictive like you'll always want to have it and you'll never want to feel like you've haven't gotten it again and again because success the feeling of success is so powerful because now people understand where you're coming from because if you don't get that taste of success people just think that you're crazy people that just don't believe in you because your dream is so big and they've never heard of that dream before. But I feel as if once you are successful, any idea that you have at right after that, no one can tell you nothing. That means that you already built enough credit for yourself so you can keep chasing your dreams and nobody can bother you, you know. So you have to really have some type of results when you are working hard towards your dreams every single day because when that day comes, people will doubt you. And then you end up questioning yourself because so many people told you you couldn't do it. But now, guess what? You've worked hard and you've showed up every single day and you showed your film, your face every single day, even when there are fears, even, them, even when you failed, you kept on pushing and you stayed motivated because you weren't going to let these failures stop you. And 
that's how you need to be every single day because you need to be able to control your life. Because if you don't control your life, someone else is going to control your life for you. And you don't want nobody to control your life for you because then you end up living a dull life. You know, you want to have a light bulb on 24-7 in your mind saying, wow, aha, like this is my aha moment. Like I know exactly what I'm supposed to be doing in my life and I've always been trying to do this, but it just never worked out. And guess what? Now it did work out because you kept on being persistent. You kept on being consistent every single day and you didn't let the bad days get to you. You know, because there's no such thing as bad days. There's only bad moments in your day. So most people, when bad things happen to them, they all, always say like, oh, it's a bad day. It's, you know, Mondays are my worst days. No, Monday's not your worst day. It's just you don't like what you're doing and you just hate where you are currently. But hate is a strong word because hate is a negative feeling. You know, love is a positive feeling. So you have to always watch what you say because what you say is what you are. And you have to watch what you eat too. Because what you consume every day on a daily basis is what you are. So you always have to rewire your brain. You know, change your environment sometimes. Because sometimes your environment can really change how you move and how you act and what momentum that you have. Because if you're in a dull environment and you are surrounded by poverty all the time, then guess what? It's not going to move you. It's not going to want you to go successful but once you get yourself out of that poverty mindset and you get yourself in a better rich area you'll always want to see rich things because it's always like mind-blowing to you because now you've actually seen that it's possible that you know if somebody else could do it then you could do it too what's stopping you from doing it it's already a possible and you've seen it so why not go for it people just question themselves before they do anything they always say oh how am i going to get this done don't say how say i'm going to make a definite decision that i'm going to make this happen for myself and i'm going to find the faith to do it because it's going to get hard you know if the faith is doing the work even when the results don't show yet because when the results do show then you know that all that faith and all that hard work really meant something to you like your dreams have to really mean something to you in order for you to keep going because if dreams are just silly hobbies and they don't really give you emotion and you're not putting any emotions towards it you're not going to keep going because any slight distraction any slight confusion or anything that doesn't go your way you're gonna quit immediately so don't quit on yourself just quit the idea of you giving yourself an excuse because your motivation depends on your life. So if you're not motivated to do it, then your life depends on it. So if do you want to live a miserable life for the rest of your life? Or do you want to keep chasing the dream that is so hard for you to do, but you know that the life that's going to come out of it is going to be a good one? Like there is no failure in my eyes. It's only learning lessons. It's only building blocks for me to see what really was in my vision because my vision it was so strong enough that it kept me going through even though there was traffic even though there might be construction on the road and I can't get through the there's delays but I'm always still focused you know focus is always helping me to stay on the right path so that I'm not swifting away I'm not drifting away because I'm always on go and my mind is always on my goals and I'm always working towards my goals every day because it's so addictive for me to keep working because I like working and I like the work that I'm doing and my work is serving a purpose and once your work is serving a purpose then you're serving others and once other people see the hard work that you're doing then they start to congratulate you and now the universe will start to give you things because now you're giving to the world without even realizing it because you are so passionate about what you do and you're helping other people in their problems that you win automatically you win when you have a dream because then that dream takes you out of a life that you're so used to you're so programmed to every single day doing the same miserable thing over and over again that dream will literally snap a finger and make you change into a new life without that life dream you're not gonna just be living that you know not much lifestyle you're, you're right now you're just doing just enough to survive but that dream will make you survive thrive and guess what you can have a cup that can fill over and give you more so that you can bless other people and not just yourself because nothing when you start this dream this dream is not just for you it's for other people 
So you're serving the community and guess what? The community will serve you. So always have a dream to go for because that dream really can change your life and alter your life. But never quit on your dream and I hope this message really helped you out today. If it did, please leave a like, comment, share on this YouTube video. You can also check out my podcast on SoundCloud, Motivated NYC Chase Your Dreams Podcast, on Spotify, Motivated NYC Chase Your Dreams Podcast. And thank you for listening, watching, and have a good one. Let's go. Thank you.